In this video, we're off to our barbershop vending machine location to service the machine and collect the money. Watch all the way to the end. Enjoy the show. What's up guys, it's Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We are back with another vending collection video. As you can see, we're back at the barbershop location and it's time to get right to work on this machine. So looking, first thing we can notice is there's a sign on our machine that says no sodas. And I know that the sodas are actually sold out, sold out in this machine. So first thing we're gonna do is we're actually going to reset our NIAX VPOS Touch credit card reader. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make it so we're putting the cash box back at zero and the inventory at 100%. And then what I'll do, I'll stock the machine up with everything I have and anything that doesn't go back to 100%, I will manually change it in the NIAX app. It's just that easy. Anyway, so again, we're resetting everything here. Once we get to do that, we're gonna open up the machine. We're gonna take a look inside. In the snack section, I can see the Famous Amos cookies are sold out and uh, looks like sour cream and onion chips are sold out. Let's check the drinks next and we're gonna see what is sold out over there. I'm guessing um, the Coke, Mountain Dew are going to be sold out. Checking in the coin tubes too. It looks like I'm going to need to add some coins. So we'll do that at the end of the video too. Let's open up that drink section. There we go. Yes. So Coke, Mountain Dew definitely sold out. Snapple is sold out. Uh, only one Red Bull sold. So we might have to do some switching things around uh, coming up soon. And I had to look at the front of the machine to remember which number had which soda. So that's why I looked around the front of the machine like that. Anyway, so let's get right into stocking up. Starting off with our Mountain Dew, we're gonna do the Coke next. We got, a, like I said, one Red Bull. We gotta do some Snapple. I'm sure we'll have to top off things like the Gatorade and other things like uh, the other cans and different things like that. Anyway, how is your vending business doing, guys? What's going on out there? Put in the comments, let me know what's new with you, what's happening. You know, do you have any new locations? Do you have any new machines? What's going on with you? Let me know. If you remember correctly, we did a video where we, we uh, introduced our new uh, Witzer 3589 Futura Combo Machine. So we're working on getting that location ready. Uh, we've already got the credit card reader installed, which there'll be a video coming up on that soon. Next, we need to stock it up and then get all of our MDB codes and then set up our product map, which we're gonna do that in an upcoming video. So if you wanna learn more about setting up NIAX credit card readers or how to set up all the backend stuff, make sure you give us a subscribe. All right. There we go. So we got uh, all but looks like one Gatorade socked up. And a lot of times what happens is when I pre-kit, um, I'll pre-kit the night before or the morning of. And then during the drive over, if something sells in between when I've pre-kitted and by the time we get there to stock up the machine, then unfortunately I can't stock that item up to 100%. So it looks like that's what happened with our Gatorade there. We're one shy because one sold between the time I pre-kitted and the time we actually arrived to stock up the machine. So what I'll do is I've actually got my Venge, my Vensoft sheet over there, so I'll make a little note on that. So I, when I'm actually updating all the inventory in the uh, in the app, I will uh, I'll, I'll make that change. Anyway, we do have a customer come up to us. He wants a Pepsi. I'm just gonna give him this Pepsi today. Thank him for our business. Anyway, all right. So we got that taken care of. Let's go ahead and get the Sprite stocked up. Uh, what else we got after Sprite? I think that's pretty much it. We might have a Pepsi. We might have more. I'm not sure if we have Orange Fanta. Those look pretty full. Um, so we might not have to stock that up today. Looks like it's just a Sprite, and you know I'm going to put that Sprite in very carefully. Look how very carefully I'm doing that. Because if you recall in a previous video, we had a Sprite attack. All right, so we got the drinks all stocked up. It's time to get moving on the snacks. And I'm getting pretty efficient with this location. I'm getting, you know, being able to basically get the service and everything stocked in under 15 minutes for sure. So here's one thing we're going to do today. We're going to remove the Chex Mix, because if you recall, we might sell one Chex Mix bag every week to two weeks and every time we come here the famous amos are almost always out of stock so we're going to end up doing two rows now of famous amos cookies rather than doing those checks mix let me know if you in the comments if you think that's a good idea obviously the checks mix weren't really selling well and the uh, famous amos all are, are selling well so i just thought it was a no-brainer so that's what we're going to do in this video again let me know in the comments if you think that was a good idea or if you think i should have replaced them with something else let me know in the comments and tell me what you think all right Time to stock up the top row. Uh, we got some pretzels added in there. We're, we got to do Cheez-Its. I think the original chips didn't sell many this time, but we're gonna add more sour cream and onion chips. Then we'll add the famous Amos cookies and that, that number 13 there. Lucky 13 is gonna get the famous Amos. There we go, there's all of our sour cream and onion. After we do that, we'll move down to the next row where, where we'll stock up more famous Amos, plus barbecue chips, Takis, cheese doodles, things like that. All right, so 
while we're stocking up this top row, let's talk about everything we got going on right now. So as you know, uh, we've been having a Wednesday evening live stream. And if you're interested in participating, every Wednesday evening right here at Galaxy Games 843 on YouTube, myself, the Howard Hospitality Group, and Extreme Vending, uh, we, we are we're actually hosting a, a vending discussion and Q&A live stream every Wednesday evening at 9 p.m. Eastern. Like I said, it happens right here on our channel, Galaxy Games 843, right here on YouTube. So if you want to join us for vending-related chat, ask questions, just hang out and you know see what kind of uh, conversations our, our topics go off the rails to, come join us again Wednesday evenings, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, right here at Galaxy Games 843 on YouTube. All right, so we got the top row stocked up. We're working on that middle row now. And as you can see, we got the more famous Amos stocked up. We're working on the barbecue chips. We obviously have a lot of Takis to stock up. Um, the mini cookies, the other ones, the uh, didn't do so hot this time around. And it looks like cheese doodles, maybe about half. I can't really tell. When we get over to that side, we'll know better. But we're getting the Takis stocked up now. So there we go. So another thing we always talk about on our live stream is our vending Discord. So I don't know if you're familiar with Discord or even how our Discord operates, but basically myself and Extreme Vending here on YouTube share a vending Discord chat. So what Discord is, it's basically a chat server where you can join other like-minded people and talk about topics that you're interested in. So ours, of course, is vending themed. Um, a lot of the uh, people there talk about full line vending, bulk vending, amusement vending, all different kinds of vendings. There's a lot of people that have very knowledgeable um, information that are there to share information. There's also a lot of new people there asking questions and talking about, you know, you know, getting help. But generally, everyone is sharing best practices, letting them know what's selling well for them, um, you know, what kind of items are doing well in their machines. So if you have any interest in, in learning more about vending or joining us for a vending related chat when it's not the Wednesday evening live stream, come join us on our Discord server. If you want to find out how to join the Discord server, what you can do is you can scroll down to the description of this video right here and find the link for our Discord server right here in this video's description. Like I said, there's a lot of great people there, always willing to share some best practices, or maybe you'll learn some new, new things, or maybe you have some things that you want to share too, you want to help other people with. Come join us in the Discord. Let us know what kind of uh, vending you do, what you're interested in, you know, you know, how many locations you have, all that good stuff. Just introduce yourself and let us know about all that good stuff. All right, now that we got that said, the candy row is almost, it's about half full now, right? So we got the Rice Krispie Treats stocked up, we got the Starburst stocked up, M&Ms are good, Crunch Bars are good, we're stocking up the Oreos now, then we need to do the Snickers, and then we do those fruity candies, so we do uh, the Sour Patch Kids, and all those Skittles. And in this machine, it seems like the Wild Berry Skittles do better than the original Skittles. And for those of you that run multiple types of Skittles in your machines, do you find that to be the case as well? Put it in the comments and let me know. Um, me personally, I prefer the Wildberry Skittles over the original Skittles. I don't know, I just think they taste better. Not that I think original Skittles taste bad, but I just think the Wildberry are better. Um, and sometimes too, I'm in the mood for tropical Skittles, even though right now I'm, I'm really not eating too much candy. But uh, if I were, I would probably pick those Wildberry Skittles over those original Skittles. So let me know in the comments if you agree do you think Wildberry Skittles is better than original Skittles? Let me know in the comments. And even too, if you think Tropical or some other Skittles flavor is even better, put that in the comments too and let us know. All right, getting the Skittles stocked up. We got the Wildberry done. We're gonna do the regular Skittles next and we're getting those filled up. Then it's gonna be time to do some maintenance. So remember we said we had to stock up the coin tubes. So we're gonna check those coin tubes. I know I brought some quarters. I brought some dollar coins as well. And I've been putting all of my dollar coins from the laundromat that I get in my collections in this machine. One of the reasons why I've been doing that is because, um, you know, pe people sometimes pay with $5 bills in this machine. When they do, they get like $4 and quarters back if it's a dollar item or $3.75 if it's a dollar 25 item. So I've been trying to put more of the dollar coins in these machines. And I'll be also putting them in the machine for the new location once that goes live too. Because of the same reason. Um, when people use a $5 bill, They've been getting a ton of quarters back and leaving my quarter tubes pretty pretty low so which is why we're adding more quarters right here so we got those added we got the dollar coins added we'll put the coin tubes back into the coin mech all good to go well, let's go ahead and check the coin box and uh it's gonna be pretty light because it always is it looks like there's uh i don't know a couple coins in there oh maybe just one single quarter <laughs> we might as well just put that back in the coin mech too so we'll put that in the coin mech because uh we don't need to bring one quarter home right we'll put that in the coin mech now let's do the dollar bills and 
you know, things are a little bit slower right now here in this machine um, due to the weather not being as warm. Looks like one was uh, jammed in the uh, dollar bill except there, and then not a, not a huge a stack as we're used to, but still a pretty good amount. Total amount collected for this time around, including coins, cards, and cash, $159.50. So not too bad for two-week service collection. Uh, we're running about every two weeks here. We might be able to push it to three weeks sometime, but this time around, we made it two weeks. So with that said, we got the machine locked up. It's time to make our way out the door. Uh, one, one more reminder, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to Galaxy Games 843. Hit that bell notification. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to like it as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843.